No, right? And blood kiss? No! We gotta save Blur. Somewhat of a um an emotional wreck today. Right now. Um the last twenty four hours have been pretty crazy. I thought I was okay preparing um yesterday for surgery today. Um but then I got very anxious kinda last night and I didn't sleep like at all last night. This morning I was pretty okay. Um and then waiting for surgery. This was an eight hour long surgery. That was the longest we've ever endured. Um, yeah. Um, and they tried to prepare us, you know, with all the things that had happened and what we would expect and things like that. Um, so they told us that his chest is still open. They didn't close it due to his pressures and swelling and the blood. <clears throat> draining um so in my mind i'm like okay but when you actually see it and see him it's a lot it's a lot they're kind of emotional just i feel like it's supposed to get easier at this point this is literally his fourth open heart surgery and I just felt this was the hardest for me. And I mean, of course, it's definitely the most, it has been the longest and the most difficult surgery. Um, just seeing him and just to think that just a few hours ago, he was running around in the pre-op room, you know, playing with, hot wheels you know saying hi to anyone who passed the door and to see him completely paralyzed you know sedated it was a lot it was, it was a lot so I came home Franklin's there with him. Um, but so Hi, big boy. Yeah. You sleepy? Hi. No, you're not sleepy? I see you. Hi, big boy. Okay, so this is night three. Um, yeah. We got to see those brown eyes today. Very happy about that. So, we're moving in the right direction. It's getting harder and harder to leave him. But I know I still have to take care of Bean um, and rest. So, I'm at home in the bed. Franklin is on duty duty. And I'll see them bright and early in the morning. We're moving in the right direction, so hopefully I can sleep good tonight.
There's only one I'll read, it's red hot! Yeah! <laughs>